This tutorial is all about the materials used in the construction industry and particularly about limestone and how it can be treated to make new materials. Here you can see some of the landmark buildings in Nottingham in the United Kingdom and the very many different materials which are used to build these. The glass, the steel, the stone and the brick all coming from materials deriving from the ground. You need to know where some of these construction materials derive from and you also need to know about the hardness of three particular rocks and why they have this order of hardness. Aluminium and iron are both metals which are commonly used in construction. However, neither of these are found as the metal in the ground. Instead, they're found in the form of ores rocks containing compounds of these metals and the metals must be extracted from them before they can be used. Brick and glass are also materials used in house building. Brick is made from clay. Clay is shaped and then fired in large kilns to make brick. Whereas glass is made largely from sand which is heated to very high temperatures with other chemicals to make glass. Both these raw materials therefore come from the Earth's crust. Here are three rocks which are commonly used in the construction industry either for facing of buildings or for flooring. But which is the hardest? The easiest way is to do a scratch test, which is to scratch each of these rocks against each other to find out which is harder. The rock which is the harder one will scratch the softer rock. A bit of a time out for some revision here. There are three main kinds of rock, metamorphic rock, igneous rock and sedimentary rock. Each of these are made in different ways and they are linked to each other by a rock cycle. Igneous rock may be weathered down to become sediments which move from rivers into the sea, settle and over millions of years become compacted and cemented together as sedimentary rock. This may be buried deep and under the influence of heat and pressure turn into metamorphic rock which is more crystalline. This may indeed melt and become magma to become more igneous rock. But each of these are linked with each other. Sedimentary rock is made from grains which are pushed together and is therefore one of the softer types of rock. Metamorphic rock is a rock which has been squeezed and pressed and therefore these grains have been welded together to form bands of crystals. Igneous rocks are made from crystals which are tightly packed together. So in terms of hardness, the limestone, the sedimentary rock, is the softer of the three because it can easily be scratched and made back into sediments again. Marble, a metamorphic rock, is made when limestone is subjected to intense heat and pressure deep underground. In marble, the original grains from limestone have been squeezed and heated until they become crystals which form bands within the marble. This makes it much harder than the limestone. Hardest of all is the granite. This which is made when magma cools down fairly slowly under the earth's surface forms crystals which lock into each other and make the granite very very hard. The remainder of this tutorial is about limestone which chemically is calcium carbonate. Limestone can be made into lime or calcium oxide by heating. In industry, limestone, calcium carbonate, is heated in large kilns to make it into quicklime calcium oxide. This can be replicated in the lab by taking a small piece of limestone and heating it above a Bunsen burner for 10 or 15 minutes. It's then allowed to cool. Originally, the limestone would have no reaction with water. But after cooling, this heated piece would react vigorously with water, fizzing, as it reacts with the water to make slate lime. 
Also, what we don't see, unless we heat the limestone within a boiling tube and collect any gas collected, is that as it's heated, the limestone is giving off a gas, carbon dioxide, and this gas would turn lime water milky. So the limestone, which is calcium carbonate, is broken down by heat to make quicklime, or calcium oxide, and carbon dioxide. This kind of reaction, where one substance breaks down into two or more substances on heating, is called thermal decomposition. The quicklime which is made once, treated with water to make slate lime, is used by farmers to neutralise acid soil and by the water board to treat drinking water to make it neutral after adding chlorine.